Number 4. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Read a passage from a biology textbook. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now, listen to a part of a lecture in a biology class. Geophagy may at first seem strange, even dangerous. And while it does have risks like getting parasites, there are beneficial reasons why both animals and humans engage in geophagy. In the animal kingdom, birds are one species known for eating dirt to help them digest food. Since birds do not have teeth, they cannot chew their food before digesting it. Instead, birds have an organ called a gizzard, that helps them process food. The dirt goes into the gizzard, and its rough texture helps the organ crush and grind food into a paste. This paste can then be easily digested. Humans have been known to eat dirt. The main reason humans eat clay is to get nutrients that are missing from their regular diets. For example, children and pregnant women in many traditional societies often eat dirt to get important minerals like calcium and iron to help keep them healthy and strong. However, people in modern societies also still practice geophagy as well. In fact, in some places in the American South, packaged clay is sold in stores for the sole purpose of being eaten. Question number four. The professor gives examples of geophagy. Discuss how these examples explain the practice of geophagy. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. Begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. The passage talks about geophagy or eating dirt. The lecture gives examples and reasons why people and animals engage in geophagy. First, the lecture gives the example of birds. They eat dirt because it helps their gizzards grind up food. Second, humans consume dirt to get nutrients that they do not get enough of in their regular diets. The lecture supports this by saying pregnant women and children in traditional societies practice geophagy to get minerals needed for growth and development.